Hello, so welcome back again. And uh, as you can see, we continue to explore the KeyCAD, which is a free open source uh, software for electronic design. And we have covered so many topics so far using KeyCAD and its powerful simulator, which is NG Spice. We performed range of uh, analysis uh, using uh, different circuit configurations uh, and uh, we have provided a lot of useful information on the KiCad. This time is a general, very general topic uh, and we are going to give you information about the schematic editor of the keycard for example on your screen you see that there is this specific background by default on the keycard schematic editor when you open it you have got the symbols for the parts uh, for example yellow inside and the brown border wires here are with the green label then there are labels or uh, titles with different colors and specifically this uh, little whitish or little yellowish background uh, but if you prefer to change it for some reason, you want to alter uh, even the colors of the labels, uh, the parts, uh, colors of the parts inside and their border, colors of the wires, colors of the background, you can all do that. How we are going to show you in this general model about how to play with KiCad. Okay, so what you do when you open KiCad, um, which is uh, what I have done here. You can just go up in the menu, see this tab preference and click there. And then you see there is this preferences. You click there, it will open you a new window where you actually can see that there is already a snapshot of what is there in the background right here. You, you can see that. So you see that there is this brown color border for this uh, schematic page page then inside you have your original schematic which is there already in the background then you got the colors in the green you got some labels here you have some information about the schematic page you have the uh, the global nets uh, such as input and the output etc and here uh, I have created a theme here with the name my theme. Earlier it was like KiCad Classic. When you open it first time, read only KiCad Default. Uh, and then there is a KiCad Default. And finally, there is one option, new theme. So I clicked here and I typed here my theme, something like that, or give it any name. And then I clicked OK. So I already did that. So I'll click Cancel. Once I did that, I got to choose this one my theme and with that you see that uh, there are these tabs here so first thing when you will open it you will have such uh, parameters common uh, if you want to change some parameters with mouse and touchpad you have to do it here and there are hotkeys instead of using mouse you can use this uh, shortcut hotkeys uh, just dp to do some actions which is uh, descripted here then there is a data collection there is a symbol editor if you uh, open it and you see that there is a display option fallback graphics grid display and all these things for example now you see in the background there is a dot here there is a dot so grids are dots how about i click here line for example or small cross crosses something like that so and if i click here okay uh, do you see some change here there is uh let me just do it again and try we'll try that uh instead of this lines maybe we click here lines and uh, there seems to be no change or what okay so let me let me just zoom it to the original position go again reference and uh, maybe here minimum grade spacing five and then click again uh, oh there is nothing coming here why so preferences again we'll keep doing it let's say reset display option to defaults here so we'll click here it goes back to dot and then maybe click ok here so we'll we'll come back to it here later but let's about talk about the colors so go to preferences 
and uh, here you see in the symbol actually oh this is for the symbol actually that's why nothing being uh, reflected no changes are being reflected this is to do with the symbols editor so we'll just uh, close this maybe here uh, we are not interested in here rather we are interested in the schematic editor right here and in this you have a display option so if you like click lines and then maybe change here like let's say five or something click okay look at this you got some changes here okay because now we are talking about and playing with the schematic come again preferences come again here go to click small crosses do some changes here maybe change some grid thickness click okay and uh, we'll see if there are changes yes so you this is how you do it then preferences go to click preferences and if you want to come back to default just click here reset display option to default and click ok so you are back with the original stuff right here but not with what we started with so let us do it again go to schematic display here you just go here but now grid thickness has been changed so uh, maybe this keep it like one something like that and then now it is what you see here then now lot let's talk about the colors the main, main part which we started with now look at this for the my theme you've got the range of colors over here for different parameters uh, for example uh, background is little whitish or little yellowish uh, i clicked here on the color you got the color picker now the center the square is a little square is here i can click the mouse and move it somewhere so if i want to change the background to let's say dark green or maybe the dark pink red so wherever i want i can take it so for example i keep it like here for example it was originally like here and then i make it here you can see the previous was little yellowish and little whitish now but if i choose it like say green so from uh little yellowish old pattern of color to it will go to green we'll show you that okay look this whole screen got green and if you click okay here here also you will have the green screen okay so this is how you can change it so if you want like dark background so click again on the background and let's say you want a dark go to dark blue and maybe then you want to make it black so scroll this arrow down all the way so it is now changing from old green to new black so click ok and then look this is how the background and if you click ok this black will be reflected here in the screen original screen okay so this is how you can change the background so let me just uh, keep it somewhere like a little yellowish or something like that and then i have to adjust it so let's let's have this different color look at this different color okay this is how you will have the background and click here you will have that color okay now uh how about changing the wire colors or some different aspect okay bus cursor junctions and then arc all these things are there how about labels labels are black so i want to make them maybe red so i click on the red but now it should be reflected here so i have to just take it up look at that the red from black to red so click ok and let us see what goes right here so this is how you see now if there are changes it will be done like here so you now can see that uh, you have option of changing many things operating point currents operating line voltages you must be remembering in previous models we have uh, performed operating point analysis and as soon as we finish that simulation these currents and voltages are printed or back annotated on the screen so you can choose the colors okay page limit page pin names pin numbers actually so how about from brown to let's say uh, blue maybe yes and let's do that and click here so look at this pin the pins got blue now okay and then come again preferences 
and uh, then you scroll it down maybe pins pin numbers got there what about pins pins are brown so these prints let's say you want to make them um, maybe pink or red your know, red would be okay so now it should be red here so i put it here and then maybe take it up yeah it is a little bit red now click okay and we'll see if they are red or something like look at this pins they got red here they got red here okay so this is how you just keep playing with uh, different aspect of your design. Scroll it down. Uh, then schematic text and the graphics. That's in the blue. Do we see blue any any anywhere? Uh, graphics and all that? No. So but just you can change if you want. Okay. Then symbol body fields. It's yellow now. So if you click here, symbol body fills, and if you want it to be whatever color, let's say you want it white, all right? Now look at this, it is white. And maybe uh, you make it black also or complete white. So click OK. And now look at that, it got white, right? So it, earlier it was yellow. So preference again, come um, click there and look at that. You will see that wires wires are green now can you see that let me show you wires are green you see so how about i want to change it to dark blue so dark blue i clicked here and then that's it click ok and click ok look at this the green turns into blue so this is how you actually can play with the schematic reference maybe last time i would like to change the color of the background because to make it more visible uh, then maybe go to preference again where is my background instead of this uh, color i want to make it maybe yellow or complete white that would be better so i click in the center and then go up but it's not going uh, complete white so how about i just uh, play with this section and try to adjust things uh, maybe from this also, I just change things, but uh, things are like, uh, it seems like you have to just keep experimenting to make it completely white, right? In that category, you, you are now going here. So this here, 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 you got this, right? So click OK and click OK. Look at this, the white. Okay, so this is how you can see that okay so very well this is how we finished playing with the now it looks perfect so i hope you found this model useful uh, when you are uh, using keycad uh, you can also have your preferences about choosing the color so that your schematic looks bright uh, shining and uh, informative and descriptive and very clear clean and clear and uh, if you like this model share it with others uh, for wider reach uh, help each other and uh, stay tuned for more informative content like this till then wish you a very very happy learning